Hi guys, Coach Valerie here, hashtag Pajama Jam with a level one workout. This is a cardio centric, which means that we're gonna start out with like 15 minutes of cardio effort. So we're gonna be really moving, getting that heart rate up, getting that breathing pumping. In other words, we're gonna be trying to hit our moderate intensity, which is excellent for next 50 living. You need to be hitting that moderate intensity uh, framework for exercise. So all you're going to need is a weight, and I only have one, and we're not going to use this until the very end. So we're going to be focusing on just a lot of body weight movements, and again, a lot of cardio. Make sure you have something to hydrate with. Have your electrolytes handy. We will be taking hydration breaks. So with that said, we're going to be starting out first here with a ski jump. So those feet are going to be on one side, those hands are going to be on the other. And here we go. These are, as always, one minute each exercise. So it gives us an opportunity to really focus on our technique. And my technique here is feet on one side, hands on the other. And I'm sitting up very tall. I'm not slouching, chest is up, chin is up, and I'm breathing. There's that usual two, two breath. So I just take one inhale, but I kind of break it up into two little sections. Same way with the exhale, break it up into two little sections. That really helps to up my VO2 max, really get that oxygen rushing through my blood, rushing through all my cells, really waking up my brain. About five seconds, we're going to go to a wide legged position and we're going to come into a big side stretch right there. Wide legs. So take your hands up, mine are on the left. Big inhale, pull, 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 wake up this whole side body. Exhale, come all the way down the other side. Inhale, pull, exhale, reach. Inhale, pull, exhale, reach. Again, this is a big stretch. So make sure those legs are wide and your heels should be in front of that knee to kind of help keep you from hopefully not dropping out of that chair. Big inhale. And we're going to switch sides. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Reach and stretch. Inhale. Big pull. Really lift that rib cage. Don't pretend to lift that rib cage. You should feel that deep down in that waistline, in that lower belly. Big pull. Exhale, crunch. So we do a little sit up there. We reverse sit up. And right here, we have a burpee jack. Bring those legs in. We have an open, jump, and close. Here we go. Open, jump, and close. Open. Big deep slow breath. Open, jump, close, open, jump, close. Now again, we're gonna be repeating all these exercises. So you know this first step, we always want to come and go a little bit easy. We're establishing muscle memory so the body knows what's coming, what to expect of it. We're warming up all the body parts. So by the time we get that second and third set, we're going to be looking awesome. And right there, wide legs. We've got a big stretch. Again, my heels are in front of my knees. Inhale, exhale, pull it up and drop it all the way back. Woo! Inhale. Arms and ears are side by side. I'm putting my thumbs on my back. And let's point that elbow straight up. Again, big stretch. Inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Uh, uh, exhale, exhale. Uh, big breaths. Really open up that tricep. Work that shoulder. Remember, next 50 shoulders. Always a challenge for us. Uh, Want to keep that mobility and flexibility. We are working both here. Oh. Well, five seconds away from a jump rope. Oh. 
right there. Bring everything in, elbows at the waistline. We're jumping. Remember, you're always lightly touching the floor. You don't, do not slam your heels, do not slam your feet. This is just, always say it's like ninja jumping or walking like a cat, very soft, very gentle, but still lifting up those knees past that hip level. So then we had a three, three breath. One, two, three in, one, two, three out. I can also shorten it to a two, two. Remember, it's always a good practice to coordinate your breathing with your movement. This actually has a lot to do with your endurance factor. If you start exercising and you find yourself getting out of breath, it's because your breathing is not quite in sync with your movements. So line those two up together. Five seconds, we're gonna go right back to that ski jump. Again, we're gonna be doing this for 15 minutes, guys. Right there, ski jump. Let's keep moving. All this technique and breathing, very important for the long haul. Nice two-two breath there. You know, keeping those elbows up, shoulder level. I'm gonna keep opposite sides. I'm really working that body. I'm also working that core, twisting up that navel. Remember, in our next 50 years of life, we need to be focusing on moderate intensity exercise. And moderate intensity is not necessarily counted by reps or time or anything like that. It's, it's based on you. Right there, hammer swing, open it up. Big inhale, pull. Exhale down, inhale, pull. So based on you means that I have to I get my heart rate up. I need to be a little bit short of breath. And I want to be moist or slightly sweating. That way I know for sure that I'm really working. <sighs> Inhale, pull. Exhale, right there, switch sides. Inhale, pull. <sighs> Notice again that heel is in front of that knee. Reach, reach, reach. Don't pretend to reach. Reach all the way down. Ah, big inhale. Ah. Ah. Big breath. Oh, it's all about breathing, baby. Gotta breathe. Woo! Burpee jacks, bring that in. We're gonna open, jump, and close. Let's go. We already know what we're doing. This is the second round for these. Got to get my breathing in sync there. <gasps> inhale, inhale, exhale, ex. Exhale. Again, you're not just here exercising, you're here focusing on your breathing. Those two have to work together, guys. Two most important things you're doing are what? Technique and breathing. Stay with me, we're almost there. Come on. Woo, wide swings, here we go. Big inhale. Exhale, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Inhale. Keep that chest and chin up when you reach down and inhale. So I'm reaching back and pulling forward at the same time. Get this nice, big, beautiful stretch on my spine and up on my shoulders. Inhale. Uh, push and pull, push the hands away, pull the chest forward, push and pull. Uh, uh, ooh, tight arms, tight arms. Keep those arms in your side by side, get those elbows pointed straight up. See if you can touch those thumbs to your back. Uh, uh, Big breaths, inhale. Oh. 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 Ooh, we 
comes that jump rope. Ah, oh, right about there. Bring it all in. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, deep breaths. And you can play around that two, two breath and three, three breaths. So if I do a three, three breath here, three bounces. I can speed it up to a little two, two. That two, two breath will accelerate the heart rate a little bit faster. So it comes down to a comfort zone at that point. Or again, if you're trying to get that moderate intensity, go for that two, two. Deep breaths. So about 15 seconds, we're going to repeat this entire set for the third and last time. Feeling warmed up yet? How's that breath doing? How's that body coordination? Here we go, ski jumps. Yes, non stop. Let's keep on moving. Elbows up, those hands and those feet are moving in opposing directions. I'm still looking straight ahead. I'm trying to stay light on those toes, kind of skipping across. Gotta get through this one set here, this fat final set. Then we can take a hydration break, but not until then. Stay with me. Got those big hammer swings coming up. That's a nice side stretch. Deep slow breaths coming up. Almost there. Woo, right there. Inhale, pull. Exhale, opposite side. Bridge. Inhale, pull. Exhale, squeeze that belly when you come down for that exhale. Yeah, it's kind of like doing a reverse crunch and push my navel back into the spine on that exhale here. Last one. Now you can switch to the other side. Big inhale. Crunch that belly. Exhale, crunch, crunch, crunch. Come on, this is easy. Deep slow breaths, deep stretch. Give about five seconds to that burpee jack. Here it is, right here. Bring it all in. Open jump and close. Open jump and close. You should feel very comfortable with the movements now. You've done them already twice. So your body knows what to expect. You should have that breathing nailed down. If you don't, that's okay. These are just expectations or something that you can look forward to. So if you do the video again, or if you repeat this entire sequence a second time, you're always on familiar ground. Then you start learning things about yourself, how you move, how you breathe. It's always an experience, also a new opportunity to learn something about yourself. All right, five seconds to that wide-legged swing again, that tricep swing. And right there, wide legs. Inhale, keep that chest up, push the hands back, pull the chest forward, exhale. Woo, squeeze it out, inhale, uh, inhale, uh, push and pull, hands and chest, uh, and stretch, 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 uh, deep so bras. Sometimes you want to move so fast we forget to breathe. This is why the emphasis is there. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, exhale. Coordinate those two movements. Physical movement and breathing movements. Ah. Ah. All right, guys, we got about five seconds to a jump rope, and then we can take our first hydration break. 
And right there, whoo, bring it all in, jump rope. Ah, light on those tippy toes. Ah, elbows in that waistline, breathe. There's that three, three breath, and we can do the two, two. And you can always speed it up and slow it down. You can do both. You've got 60 seconds to play with here. Fifteen seconds to our first break. Woo, looking forward to it. So once again, you should have your electrolytes. I've got my coffee here with MCT. Mmm, yummy. All right, so again, we have five exercises that we're going to be doing. And these are 45 seconds each with a five second pause. So we're going to be doing, you know, basically four and a half, five minutes of work here. And then we're going to stop and take a short 30 second break. No, um, no weights are necessary. So we're going to start first. Once again, these are kind of fast. We're going to start first with jumping rope. Feet are together, legs are together. Right here, we already know what we're doing. So we got three, two, one, right here, up and down. Nice and easy. So again, this is only 45 seconds. So technique and breathing. Elbows in that waistline, legs are together. Trying to get up that knee a little bit higher than that hip. Sitting up tall and straight, chin is parallel. Now this back position is very important. This head position, not moving, shoulders not moving. It's not only important here, but it's coming up for this next exercise, which is a cow pose, which is a yoga shoulder stretch. So the torso and head will not be moving. Open up those legs, hands down. Give me a big inhale, pull. Exhale, one up, one down. Try to touch or reach right behind that back. Inhale, pull. Exhale. So again, I am not bending my back. I am not moving my head. I'm not trying to hunch or trying to get my hands. If my hands kind of like come right here, that's where my range of motion is. One on the waistline, one on the head. Maybe I can get my hand behind my head or right there behind my waistline. There are lots of variables here. We all have a different range of motion and that's why we're here, because we're working on that range of motion. Pull. Inhale, pull. Uh, sit up tall, don't move that chest, don't move that head. Right there, shake that out, bring that in. We got a jumping jack coming up. Hands on those knees, sit up tall. And three, two, let's go, right here. Ooh. Open and close, open and close. Always inhale here. <gasps> Big breath. You know, try to hit moderate intensity. So if you want to speed it up, you can. If you want to slow it down or just keep your pace. But again, you're aiming for accelerated heart rate, shortness of breath, and moist or sweating. Five seconds, we got jumping squat, so those legs are going to stay open. Oh, right there, hands in the middle. Whew, big inhale. Inhale again, and we're going to go. Inhale. Oh, exhale, jump. Inhale. Oh. Get those knees up as high to your chest. Get them underneath those underarms as you can. Ooh. Try to get those arms in here side by side, reaching way up high. And do not bring your feet together. Those feet are wide for a reason, and they stay wide in that jump. Ooh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oh. 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 
Really straightforward breath here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh. 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 Right there, ski jump. This is gonna be the last in our set. Feet on one side, hands on the other. Elbows up at shoulder level. Here we go. Inhale. Oh. Exhale. Oh. 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 So we've got 45 seconds here. We're going to stop and take a very short 30-second break. That will give you a chance to hydrate. Guys, you don't need to be guzzling drink, okay? Just a little tiny sip just to wet the whistle. That's all you need. Rounds, stay with me. Come on. Woo! Right there, guys. Hydrate. We're going to go ahead and reset this clock. You got 30 seconds. 30 seconds is not a very long time, guys. So, again, don't be drinking a lot of liquid. You don't need it. You can wait until after the routine. All right, so we got one more set until our final set. So right here, we're going to do a Muay Thai drop knee that comes to the edge of your seat. Put that right leg under. The drop knee means that this knee is lower than my other knee. These hands are up. I'm going to be exhaling and crunching abdominal bracing. Here you go. Three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Remember, all these abdominal bracings, I'm really pushing my navel back into my spine. Inhale, big diaphragm, exhale, crunch. <sighs> Getting that big, beautiful range of motion on my hip. <sighs> big breath. Squeeze your navel, really tighten the abdominal wall. <sighs> when we tighten up the muscles, we also are massaging and fortifying <sighs> the intestines as well, and that's very important. Woo, almost there. Uh, woo, woo, other side, drop down that other knee. Oh, shake that out, take a deep, deep breath. Right here, here we go. Big breath. Technique and breathing, guys. <gasps> Big range of motion. If you've ever been to physical therapy, you heard your therapist talk about range of motion. <sighs> Wrong. That's a big component in exercise. <sighs> These are huge range of motion exercises. <sighs> they really get that synovial fluid going in the joints. <sighs> really loosen up all those snap, crackle, pops. Get all the body fluids pumping. Body loves movement. All right, cheer skater right here. Open up those legs. We'll bring my left leg in. My right hand's on that left. That right leg is out. This left hand is out. Tricky here. Here we go. I'm simply going to switch sides. So I always have my opposite hand on the opposite bent knee. And then I always have that one straight leg in the opposite straight hand. Chest is tall. I'm not leaning forward. I'm sitting up straight. Just really switching that Ooh, leg position. You can feel Ooh, those stomach muscles, baby. Ooh, I lost track. Ah, sit up tall, sit up tall. The taller you sit, the more you engage those abs. If I start hunching over, I'm not using them as much. So really pull up on those erectors. And right there, we're going to leave those open. we got an alternating oblique, elbows up at shoulder level, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Big inhale. Here we go. <gasps> Exhale. <gasps> There's that big breath again. Inhale, diaphragm. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, diaphragm. Exhale, crunch. <sighs> Do not just slam back and forth here. Really get that breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. <gasps> You ever been to the doctor and they put that stethoscope on your chest and he says, take a deep breath, and you do, and then he says, no, take a deep breath, that's what he's talking about. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Not those short, tiny breaths. We got an sketch coming up. Woo! Wide legs, hands in the middle. This is right over left, open, and the jump. Deep breath. Here we go. Right, open, jump. Left, open, jump. Right, open, jump. Left, open, jump. Right, left. Come on, think about it. Use that brain. Remember, I can always slow this down. I'm moving kind of fast because I feel comfortable. Remember, you do not have to keep up to my pace. Find your pace. Find your rhythm. Woo! Right there in 30 seconds. Yay! Take a drink break, guys. Hydrate. Sips, sips. No big drinks. You should be focusing instead on inhale deeply, exhale completely. Deep and slow breathing. All right, guys, last set. Last set. That means we want that weight handy. We're going to start out with a figure eight catch. My heels are in front of those knees. This weight is in the middle. My right hand outside on the left, and it comes across to my right shoulder. This cross position is very important. The left, middle, outside, cross position. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Middle, outside, across. Middle, outside, across. Notice how close my elbow is to my body. I'm sitting up straight there, lean forward, sit up and across, lean forward, sit up and across. Don't bring this to the same shoulder, bring this to the opposite shoulder. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, nice thinking exercise. I like working my brain. And right there, we have a turkey skin up. So put this in the right hand. This is up here on my shoulder, elbows closed. Left hand's out for balance. So I got a two part movement jump and push. That's it. Jump and push. So when I push, I do not want to do that little elbow. I don't want to get all the way up. Lift up that side body. That's why we warmed up that side body, guys. Get that rib cage in motion. Get that shoulder in motion. Get that waistline. And it's two different movements. Jump, push, jump, push, jump, push. But that balance hand is there to help stabilize the shoulders. So they do not dip, so you're sitting up tall and straight. Again, protecting the back, just like you're protecting the front. <sighs> Woo! Toss it, catch it. Other side, guys. Remember that toss and catch, good reflection time. Here we go. Jump and push, jump and push, jump and push, jump and push. I'm inhaling on my jump because that exhale exertion, EX exhale, EX exertion. You always want to exhale on that hard part. Try to get that arm and ear side by side. Like you're trying to touch the sky up there. No half pushes. Push. Even if that means slowing down, push, 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 give it a push. Jump. Push, 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 give it a push. <sighs> High pull, palms are down, two finger hold, wide legs. Here we go. Inhale down, come all through the collarbone, elbows are high. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep pulling that chest and chin forward, do not look down. You know where the ground is at. Keep that back nice and engaged. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Guys, I know this is a long set, a lot of cardio here. This is a great routine for the, getting that heart pumping and all those bodily fluids. So stay with me, we're almost finished. 
We're going to finish this one out and do a kettlebell swing, and that's going to put us right into recovery. So we're so close. Don't give up. You got this, guys. You're stronger than you think you are. Kettlebell. Hold this vertical. Here we go. Inhale down. <gasps> Exhale. <gasps> As always, I can do that full on American. There's those arms and ears again, that big chest. I can bring this down to my heart level. <sighs> but notice I'm definitely leaning forward. Lean forward. Sit up. Lean forward. Sit up. This is not just your arms. This is a tough body. Forward. You mix it up, do a couple of full range of motion, do a little couple of heart level. This is your workout. So you do what feels good for you in the comfort of your own home and your own pajama gym. Do what makes you happy. Woo! Right there, we are in recovery. Take a short breath there, guys. I'm going to go ahead and reset the pot. Keep those legs open. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. We're going to do that nice side body stretch. We've done it a couple times already. So we're going to finish it with it. Make sure that heel is in front of the knee. Hands here on those knees. Inhale, pull up. Exhale, my right shoulder is going to come all the way across to that left knee. Stretch, 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 stretch that side body. Inhale, stretch straight up in the middle. Exhale, opposite, left shoulder, right knee. Pull, 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 pull. Really straighten up this arm. Push. Inhale, pull it up. And exhale. Woo. Inhale, pull. Exhale, draw. Oh. Inhale, pull. Exhale, drop. Oh. Inhale, pull straight up. Oh. Shake out those shoulders. Do some nice deep sighs here. Big inhale, pull. Oh. Make a sound. Oh. Remember, sighing triggers your response to your relaxation. Ah, so you ever find yourself sighing in the middle of doing a chore, it usually gives your body a little bit stressed. Ah, so just continue to sigh, deep breathing, and help to de-stress yourself. Ah, and there we go. Excellent. Got my heart rate up. Good job, guys. Thank you, as ever, for joining me. And until next time, you know the routine. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay whole in the next 15.